What's up guys, I'm Vocal Strike, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play A Hat in Time. Last time, we got ourselves another time piece. Well, actually a couple of time pieces, if I recall correctly. And, we even managed to make our third hat. The Brewing Hat. Uh, who doesn't love explosions? This time, we are continuing through chapter one, and we're going to take on our second boss. Down with the Mafia! How nice of them, they literally oops, have to refresh myself on the controls. Anything else? No? Ooh, I wonder. If I do this. No, because this scares off the mafia. Ah, oh, it doesn't seem to affect them. Let's go. It's showtime, baby. So now I'm wondering, do I actually keep the mud? Just go away, please. Well, I mean, at least they're being polite about it. No, we don't. Okay. The timepiece. In the theater. This is Mafia Base. Oi. Oh, shut up. I can talk to you. If small child get gambling problem, it's her own fault. Well, I am a gambling man. Roulette tables purely for looks. No gambling here. Oh. You should leave. This no place for little girl. Most places not for child, but especially here. Well, you're not exactly doing anything to... What's troubling you, little girl? Mafia not know what child drink. Whatever problem is, Mafia sure you can deal with it. You look like tenacious type, not leave problem alone. Other little girl run into kitchen if you are looking for her. Oh, okay. So I guess this guy tells you where to go she next. Like unruly type. Keep eye on her. Ah, I didn't even see these things.
The Mafia are terrible at cooking. But fear not. Cookin' Cad is here. I'll prepare the actual dinner up here and swap the food before anybody eats the Mafia's cooking. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the Mafia prepared food. Oh. I just want these pawns. Yeah. And I'll be out of your guys' hair. <laughs> there we go. Uh, anything else? Like, anyone else to talk to? Hmm? It's still pouring it down. It's still pouring it down outside. It's much nicer to watch from indoors, though. Welcome, oh, hey! One. Please make a purchase at my humble stall. Um, allows you to equip one more badge, and only for fifty? Yes, please. Okay, now we can equip another badge. And honestly, we might as well equip the uh, uh, hover badge. Oh yeah, we can place stickers to, uh, to decorate our... Decorate our weapon. Uh, can't do anything about that yet. Oh, okay, so that's a transition. So then, what's in here? Ah, hmm. That's a key. Can I talk to you? Nope, you just get in my way. So I need to find something to press that down. I may have found it with those, uh, with those lobsters, but I don't know if I'll need the key. This appears to be the Mafia's excuse for food. It certainly doesn't smell like it, though. You could probably taste some, but you're not sure that's something you want in your obituary. Ah, the key is required. Give me those pawns. Go ahead, kid. Open this thing up and I'll keep guard here. Oh, wow, yeah, no, this kitchen is a... This kitchen is a hot mess. This kitchen's a mess. There's no way this would ever pass inspection. Honestly, my brother would throw a fit. Like, he's, uh... He's very passionate when it comes to anything involving food. So what's in here? Ah, bathroom. Ooh, a rift token. Oh wow, someone's smelling up that stall. Uh, 
Okay, so I think I know what I need to do. I need to grab one of those buckets from up, uh, from up in the rafters that the cat has. Oh wait, you could talk to him again. What's troubling you, little girl? No, fear not. Whatever problem is, oh, this is literally she just like. Okay. Now we have the key. Now we just make our way back to Mustache Girl and we unlock the door. Oh, the freezer. A very overly large freezer. You resist the urge to think of any fish puns. It's tough. Harbert, you managed to hold them back. Oh. Oh, that's that's not Harbert, that's Halibut. <laughs> and another chest. A ball of brewing yarn. Ah, damn it. No, oh. R2 while standing still to crawl. Checkpoint. Ooh, look at all of this. I mean... Ah! Sprint yarn! They really give you a lot of uh, health ponds. like that, huh? So Checkpoint. It is you! Ever since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with these magical hourglasses. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. You're in the heart of our town. Standing before the most powerful man you will ever witness! Everything you've ever owned belongs to me now. Including this hourglass piece. If you want it, we'll have to settle it in true Mafia style! Right! Action! It is showtime! Time for a boss fight against the Mafia boss. Okay. What do you do now? Super charge! Oh! oh. oh no. Okay. 
So far, so good. Okay, so far, not so bad. Okay, I don't need to jump very high for this. Oh, desperation move. I get your friend captured, and soon you will both perish. Ow. Oh! There we go. Oh no! Um. Charge! Oh, now he's got bounce. Okay, calm down. Okay, we know how to deal with this one. And then jump. No! Ah, I missed. Oh, <sighs> now the Mafia is defeated. The town is free of their tyranny. And we got our timepiece back. Bing, bing, bom. <gasps> hey! What? So what do these things do anyway? Are they some sort of rare collector's item for nerds? Oh no. Are they some sort of wreck? Wait. Huh? Whoa. What? What? Did, um, did you know about this? This is crazy! Do you even realize what could be done with these? We can make it so that you never got punched in the face by the Mafia that one time! We could beat up the Mafia, travel back in time, and then beat them up again! No, wait, uh, we can make it so the Mafia never arrived on the island! Wait, 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 even better! We could be crime-fighting time travelers! I just want to get home. Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. You have all this power, and you're not going to use it to fight evil? Honestly, it really wouldn't surprise me if uh, Hat Kid's ship could actually travel in time. It does run on time pieces, which in and of itself is essentially time energy. If you're not going to use them to fight evil, then I will. I'm not going to let this island remain as Mafia Town. I'll collect all the timepieces for myself. You have my word on it.
Mustache girls pickpocketed half of your pawns. Oi! Enemies. Well, that could have gone better. And we lost half of our pawns. Three hundred and twenty nine. Okay, now we have an enemy in Hack Kid, or er, not Hack Kid, Mustache Girl. Area unlocked. Power has been restored in the machine room. The chapter Battle of the Birds is now available. There is something I do want to check though. Uh, is there any more? There is! Time Rift Detected. Okay, so there's at 7 the Golden Vault. There's at 6. And then there's Time Rift Blue. Well. Let's unlock that 6. And next time on A Hat in Time, uh, we will be, uh, we will be continuing, uh, we'll be finishing up Chapter 1 as much as possible, as well as possibly taking a look at this time rift. Thanks so much for watching, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!